I have limited experience with Widium fragrances. They're small, petite fragrances that pack up punch for slightly under $300. And they came out with a fragrance called New York. Now, before I like to buy a fragrance, if I can get something that smells close, because as we know, I'm all about getting a clone and the original at the same time. So I ordered a fragrance from Dua, which is a Widian clone of Widian. New York. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out Woody in New York first impressions and see if it's bottle cop worthy. Pussy morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to the B to the A. So today's video is sponsored by Dua, but I request all the fragrances that I review on this channel, <laughs> review. And in this particular case, I ordered Liberty Town because when I saw Witty in New York, I love the bottle presentation, super sexy bottles. I'm a sucker for a sexy looking bottle, but I didn't know about the scent profile or if I wanted to cough up $300 right from Rip. So if I got a clone that might potentially entice me, even if I don't know from Rip if it's gonna smell exactly alike, I can kind of get an idea and judge if I'm gonna go that route. Another normal person would be able to buy a sample with some of these fragrances, you may be able to purchase a sample, but if I have access to the clone, I'm just gonna get the clone. So here's the fragrance, Liberty Town by Dua. And I'm gonna go over the notes first before we smell this joint together and see why I thought it was a little bit enticing other than the fact that it was called New York. So the notes are listed as yellow, mandarin, juniper, pink pepper, lavender, bergamot, coriander, rose, caramel, geranium, patchouli, orris, jasmine, akigala wood, white musk, tonka bean, white amber, Haitian vetiver, tobango, ambergris, and old labdanum. A lot of nuance here and a lot of depth that I'm getting based on that note breakdown. So it's gonna be sweet, spicy, a little bit of the earth, soily maybe, and some death with a little bit of a Middle Eastern touch, maybe some hints of spice. Who knows? Let's give it a shot right now and let's test this joint out and see if Liberty Town, AKA Witty in New York, is worthy for a bottle cop for me. All right, this is first impressions right off rip. Dua's Liberty Town, AKA Witty in New York. Whoa, wow, right from rip, it's fresh caramel and spice, like the peppery spice. Damn, it's actually really nice. Shit. Wow. It's a lot more mass appeal than I anticipated, to be honest with you. I expected it to be a little bit more Middle Eastern, more on the niche end, like, mm, selective people might like this, but it's definitely not that. It's a lot more playful, a lot more mass appealing. I gotta try this joint on skin. Wow, this is actually pretty fucking good. Whoa. I mean, I'm already leaning towards getting a bottle. I'm not gonna hold you. If this is an interpretation of what that's supposed to be, hmm. Oh man, this is very nice. Ooh, off the skin, you get more of that musk and that tonka, and then you still get that caramel and a little bit of like an apple as well. Kind of like a caramel apple with a little bit of like a peppery nuance. It's way more muskier and sweeter off the skin, but you still have that brightness there, kind of lifting it up. This is really nice, actually. Shit. Wow. I mean, what in New York? I'm gonna have to try to find that shit slightly used 98% bottle full or something because this is really, really, really nice. The way I see it with these clones is that they're usually not 100% there. And usually the original is just gonna have better ingredients, better contents, better raw material. So it could only be better for more money. This is quite nice. I can see how this would actually turn niche snobs off. They're looking for something that is very, very nice, but they're looking for something super exotic and Middle Eastern, it might not be their cup of tea. On the contrary, I think that this is a great place for somebody who's getting into that niche space, who has a little bit of coin to spend, to really feel comfortable wearing this type of fragrance. And the fact that they named this shit after New York, let's fucking go. This is very lit. There now becomes a little, like now coming through is musk, sweet, bright, Tobacco, the tobacco is coming in here in that midsection. Shit, this is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, Liberty Town, very nice. This is an easy wear. This is actually very signature scent worthy, quite versatile. It doesn't have a specific season that it narrows it down. At least Liberty Town doesn't. It's got brightness for versatility throughout the seasons. It's got sweet for that mass appeal aspect. It got tobacco for that masculine quality along with the musk. A very chill, woody, oody kind of undertone, but it's not animalic or fecal. On a scale of one to 10 on the Dua scale, man, this is, 
It's like a 7-3, Liberty Town. Wow, this was a very, very pleasant surprise. And I know they're gonna be holding Black Friday deals up the fucking wazoo. So if you're gonna do like bundles for you, do a fanboys. This might be one you wanna consider. It keeps calling me back to continue to smell it because you just smell these changes and it just continues to get better and better. Wow, this is a very nice breath of fresh air. Witty in New York, I'm gonna have to literally like try to dig through the crates and see if I can find it. Because again, I like having the clone and the original as well. Absolutely a ball sprayer. <clears throat> Shit. Wow, this is very good. Very, very good. Liberty Town by Dua, very good for you Dua fanboys. This is definitely one you wanna check out. And if you guys know any other Widian fragrances as New York or better, please leave it in the comments below. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Shit, this is very fun. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.